Hello you guys and welcome back for a new clean with me. So we're starting off today in the dining room, living room area. My husband's actually out of the house. He's over at my dad's helping cut down a tree in his backyard and the kids are all with daddy. So mommy is gonna be home doing as quick of a cleanup as I can do because I'd like to squeeze a little bit of me time in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this room down here and then I also need to go out to the chicken coop and clean that out and then that's gonna be it for today. So there's a lot in this little space as you can see. The kids have really just done a number on this place and a lot of it is just snack stuff. Like they were unattended for a little bit. They all ran and grabbed snacks and they left stuff everywhere. Let's get to it and let me give you guys some cleaning motivation for your day. <laughs> I'm on the train headed back to Indiana The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With the habits of the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over in our hometown, run free. It could be everything that we were chasing. I'm impatient just to see how you make everything fall into place. Uh, how you make how you make everything fall into place. Uh, how you see. So I'm cleaning the dining room table and I just discovered our windowsill is like covered in mud and what looks like chocolate fudgesicle or something. And it's just all over the place. I don't know if it's just my kids or what, but they can make such big messes and like didn't even clean it up. I know everybody goes through it, but like how long has this been here? Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my peroxide cleaner and see if we can get this off. Okay, so I've got my microfiber towel. I've got my scrubber blade with a little handle. By the way, a lot of you guys ask me about this where I get these. Um, I've got them linked in my Amazon shop, so I'll have that link in the description down below. It basically just, you pop in a razor blade and this works amazing for getting off like stickers and anything that's hard to get off. And then I've got my peroxide spray. So let's just see what this will get up. Like this right here, this is like mud, so I know that's gonna come up just fine. And then this is like ice cream or something like that. Oh man, look at my window tracks too. Okay, I'm finding more and more work to do. I'll just get that with the same spray here. Oh, there we go, there's that mud. Oh yeah, that's getting that right off. Yeah, I think this was like a fudgesicle. <laughs> and then this is just paint chipping off, so that's not gonna, not gonna come off or anything. It's amazing how much that peroxide spray can really lift, like when it comes to stains or just like messes that have been like stuck on. It's coming right off, awesome. Oh, and then look at this, inside those tracks on the windows, it's like bubbling up. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more tools. We'll get those too. Okay, so I've grabbed an old toothbrush and an orange wood stick. And you guys, these are like must-haves in your cleaning kit. You need to have them because they come in so handy for any tiny like crevice and crack that you need to get into. Like these windowsill tracks, it just makes it so much easier to get in there and get what you need to get out. Like, look at this. Any kind of tiny area that you need to get in and scrub, your old toothbrushes do great. And you can go ahead and put these in 
like a disinfectant or in your peroxide spray even with some hot water and clean those off. Like this tiny little crack here, there's no way I would be able to get in there with anything else. But this with the spray makes it really easy. Sheesh, there's so much in there. Just wipe that out. The microfiber towel really helps too because it really grabs onto it rather than having to do like lots of times back and forth. And then we'll just go back with our peroxide spray. Go over it again. Didn't even realize how dirty these were before. And then this guy can really get in there. So I've said it before, when I'm cleaning my house, my goal isn't to get things like perfect and spotless and every little, you know, crevice perfect. But I do think with a little bit of, you know, regular maintenance and your cleaning schedule, you can really keep on top of little things so that you have more time for, you know, when something like this comes up and your window still gets attacked by a fudgesicle, you've got some extra time to do that and to kind of just get on those extra tasks that maybe you happen to forget about or they're not on your normal, uh, like regular scheduled cleaning routine. I think my favorite part about making my own cleaning products, other than being able to just know everything that's in them, is they're so inexpensive to make. Like to buy an all-purpose cleaner or a specific um, like specialty cleaner that can do a little bit of sanitizing at the same time as cleaning, you spend like, almost five bucks at the store. Like at Target, I'm gonna spend like anywhere from four or five dollars just for one bottle. But being able to make them myself, I really do save a lot of money. And I like, you know, I like having them in glass too. Um, another thing, in case you guys missed it, last week I announced the launch of my natural home cleaning course. And I would love for you guys to go check it out. It really, I've put my heart and soul into the cleaning course. So not only do you get the recipes for all of my natural um, homemade cleaners, it's a full course. So it's not just recipes, but it teaches you about the different levels of cleaning, what you should do, what you should use where, how my DIY products fit into the mix, and my disinfectant spray. I even give you guys um, some information on how to disinfect properly because you really can't just take um, an effective disinfectant and spray it on, wipe it off. There's specific steps that you need to follow for it to be effective. It's gonna cost cents on a dollar to make this over and over again. Really, the most difficult part is just getting a glass water bottle in. I've gotten basically all of mine with these little silicone sleeves. I get them on Grove Collaborative. So if you guys wanna check out the course, I'll put a link down below. It is, it's been my baby for the past few months. So I've really, really worked hard on it. I know you guys will love it. And if you enjoy my cleaning videos here on YouTube, which you can find every Monday, you guys know that. But if you've enjoyed them and you wanna get more of a specific course on how you can simplify your cleaning routine and make it more efficient, then make sure you check it out. I, I know you guys are gonna really like it. Okay, so I'm basically done now with, well, we kinda of took a little detour, didn't we, with the windowsill. So I gotta get back to, um, I need a vacuum underneath this table, and then we're gonna go ahead and tackle the living room got my camera in it right now. Honestly, it's not too bad. Mostly just blankets and, and needing to vacuum. I'm the first one to get off at the station. There's something in the air that I can't play. And now I see a silhouette in the dark. It's like time has stood still. I'm gonna hold you tight.
it is getting hot in here. Actually, it's supposed to be like 82 degrees where I'm at today and I don't have the air conditioning on, so it's gonna be a hot one, but I've already got the dining room done, we've got the living room done, and I've decided once I'm finished today, I'm gonna go ahead and sit back, reward myself with a little popsicle break. <laughs> so um, I've already got that planned. It's good to have your reward in mind, you know? So last thing we need to do today is head outside. We're gonna clean out the chicken coop, get some of that straw and chicken poo in the compost, and then we are gonna be done for today. So let me bring you guys outside and I wanna show you guys how big these girls have gotten. It's, it's insane how much they've grown. Oh man, it's so bright out here. Let's see if I can show you guys how beautiful these girls are looking. So that right there is Sunshine. And right there, that's my California White. Actually, we haven't named her quite yet, so still working on that. In the back over there, that's our black uh, Australorp and her name is Purdy. And then this hanging thing right here, it's actually a poultry water, so they're able to just peck at it and get water. Are you girls coming out again? <laughs> I brought them out this morning to just let them free range in the yard. They really like that. They like getting grass and just being chickens. But look at these crazy big, crazy big birds. It's unbelievable. And these guys, I think, are actually two weeks, uh, two weeks younger than her, this black one and Sunshine. It's amazing, that breed, they just eat and eat. It's wild. Hey, all right girls, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the chicken coop. Can you, can you stay in there for a little bit? I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie Die. I can't hide uh, what this is. Uh, uh, yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. Uh, uh, I'll be. everybody back in and then this is what our nice clean chicken coops looking like now I did put in two heat lamps but it's so hot nowadays we're not even needing to use that at night plus everybody is huge and has their feathers but we've got nice fresh hay in here nesting boxes and then this is where they sort of go up and down out into their run so that's all nice and fluffed and down here in the run, we've got nice fresh hay. Everybody's eaten. Actually, we got this recently at uh, the feed store. And it's really nice because you fill it from the top. It's meant to hang, so eventually we'll, we'll hang it. But it um, just kind of puts the food out evenly and everybody can eat from it. <laughs> Sunshine's so cute. <laughs> That's one of the boys' favorite. And then over here, I had planted grass and I had it sectioned off while it was growing. Well, pretty much two days after I took out the divider, they tore it all out and ate it all, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might have to just try again, section it off, and then let them only be on it for a day before I section it off again. I don't know, they do have a lot of space as far as like run space on the other side too, um, in addition to the yard, but 
anyway, we've got fresh clean coop. Let me go show you the bunny real quick. There we go. So I went ahead and I scooped out her little poo corner too. She is super hot, I think, out here in the weather. <laughs> She's like, it's way too hot, mom. I need to go in some AC. She's got such a thick coat. Hey, girl. Oh, that's our sweet girl. Come here, girl. Oh, let's see if I can get her over here. Hi, sweet little you. This is our lover bunny, huh? Are you too hot out here? I've given her some. Well, she's got a couple water bottles out here. She's got a bigger one and a smaller one just in case she runs out. Oh, her coat, man, it's just so thick. I can only imagine she's hot out here. Maybe we'll put some ice in your water later. That way you stay nice and cool. Well, you guys, I got the animals all taken care of and my, my reward, my popsicle. So, I'm gonna enjoy this out in the heat, get some sun, and I hope you guys are having a great day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Also, you can check out a previous Clean With Me video over here or a good recipe for your Instant Pot over here. All right, I will see you guys next Monday.